Does the speed limit apply to cyclists? So to mark the release of Madison's brand new Stella reflective jacket, we're hitting the streets of London to find out how much cyclists really know about the rules of the road. So the challenge was simple. We had to scour London's cycling hotspots to find five different types of cyclist. A roadie, a mountain biker, a commuter, a bike courier, and a Boris biker, AKA a tourist. We asked each cyclist the same five questions about the rules of the road, get all five right, and the Madison jacket was theirs. Uh, yeah, uh, wait, does it? Shit, uh. Yes, the speed limit applies to cyclists. Yes, it should do. But does it? Yes. Yes, is what I would assume. Except for rural parks, I don't think it does because you don't have to have a GPS on your bike to prove that you have a speed limit. Um. Nope. Yes. No. No, you're not. You're not. We have to wear a helmet. Yes. No, they, you have to have lights. I would say no. I'm gonna say yes. I don't think it's technically compulsory. I don't think the laws are that rigid. You might be able to drink more than you would if you were driving a car. I would imagine not. I don't think it's technically um, illegal. So I think by default it is illegal. Um, but it's not. I'm pretty sure it's illegal, but not for drunkenness in itself. I think there's like there's like dangerous and uh, and uh, unable to control your vehicle. Yeah. No, no, definitely not. Um, I don't think you are. No, definitely not. Unless it's uh, unless it's got signs saying that it's shared use, you're not allowed to ride on the pavement. 